Welcome to Too Old and Too Slow. My name's Richard and this is my Crosley Formula Ford. In today's episode, we're going to look at the anatomy of a period Formula Ford. So the car's in the trailer and it's ready to head off to Mallory Park. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. I didn't get the car painted. It was wrapped with a vinyl wrapping. It was a relatively cheap option and a lot quicker than getting it painted. As you can see, fits snugly in the trailer and it's all badged up, ready to go. I hope this year I'm going to be 43 again. The suspension at the front of the car is pretty straightforward. It's a shock absorber with a spring. This is the anti-roll bar and these components are attached to the upright with rose joints. They allow stability, adjustment and flexibility. This is the old shock absorbers which came off the car. They're an Armstrong set and they're quite old. And as you can see, they probably could do with a service. They can easily be compressed by hand. And at the rear, the suspension is pretty similar. This is the anti-roll bar with a drop link. Got a shock absorber here with a coilover and various adjustments which allow you to make the car handle exactly how you want it. With the body panels removed, you can see how simple the car is. It's effectively a tubular steel chassis. Starting at the front, you can see the radiator. This is an aluminium radiator, replacing the old brass one which was damaged at Brands Hatch. Three hydraulic reservoirs for the brakes and the clutch. It's a simple three pedal design. This one on the left is a footrest, so you can brace yourself as you go around the corner. I have the brakes set up for heel and toe. Between my legs on the floor, there's a fire extinguisher. This needs to be serviced regularly and it's got two T-handles, one outside and one inside. It's right-hand shift for the gears. And this is a relatively modern quick-release steering wheel. Now, as you can see, it is quick-release. It should be a quick-release steering wheel. It is a quick-release steering wheel. The dashboard is quite straightforward. It's just got three dials, oil pressure, RPM and water temperature, which is in Fahrenheit. On the left hand side, this red knob here is for brake bias. I can move the bias of the brakes between the front and the back brakes, dependent upon the weather conditions. As you can see, it certainly is a comfortable chair for a gentleman racer like myself. So to the engine, start off with the fuel filler port that runs the fuel tank which is behind the seat. This little key is the electrical cutoff switch. You turn that and it isolates all the electrics to the car. Sitting on top of the engine is a Weber carburetor and here we've got a very simple ignition system with a coil leading to a distributor and that runs over the top to the four spark plugs on the other side. Here is a defuel port I've uh, fitted to the car. That's going to take all the fuel out of the tank so I can fit just the right amount of fuel for each race. That's an adapter plate, it makes the engine to the Hewland gearbox. It's very simple Hewland gearbox. It's easy to uh, remove the back by taking off this plate here and the ratios come out and they can be swapped over to suit the track. As you can see, it's got inboard brakes, simple one pot caliper and a very straightforward drive shaft with universal joints. The tires are very straightforward ACB 9s. On the other side we've got a stainless steel exhaust attached to a steel exhaust manifold. As you can see the car has a dry sump system. This is the oil reservoir and that's where about uh, three or four litres of oil hides and that's the tower for the cooling system. And this is where I sit. 
very straightforward and simple car. Thank you for watching Too Old and Too Slow. In today's video, we saw the basic anatomy of my 1973 Formula Ford. In the next video, I'll be setting the car up at Mallory and then doing half a day's testing. So please tune in and watch that. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And also, if you look down here, you will see my Instagram address. And on Instagram, you'll see some photos of me setting the car up, but also videos and photos of me when I'm flying, because I need to fly to earn money to go racing. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.